This week uh, we're going to do something a little bit different for our drawing lesson. Uh, I, as you can see, the screen's a little different, and you, you don't get to to see my my handsome face uh, as as I uh, draw. Uh, no particular reason for that. I just I'm using a different app today, so I wanted uh, to not take up as much uh, space uh, uh, having my picture in there. But um, you know we're we just celebrated Easter and the resurrection. And if you look on the activities page, there's a, a quite a bit of uh, other uh, uh, resurrection and Easter related material. Uh, and in fact, uh, our uh, other video lesson is Pat Nepley uh, showing how to draw the empty tomb in uh, chalk uh, or in pastel which is a form of chalk, but it's not the same as the kind of chalk I use when I do a chalk drawing. Um, so I thought uh, for this week what I would do is show you how I draw uh, the empty tomb in a blacklight effect. Now I'm not drawing with blacklight chalk, I am using digital. Uh, I have an app uh, called Procreate and uh, it it really approximates chalk uh, very very well uh, so I'm going to use that uh, simply because it's easier for you to see and this will look almost identical to what uh, I would uh, typically do and it's uh, fairly easy for you to draw along with me remember our rule uh, you don't have to uh, make it look exactly like mine uh, it doesn't have to be perfect and uh, use whatever you have. Now obviously, you know, most of you probably don't have black light chalk sitting around. Uh, and, you know, you might not have a black light either for that matter. So what are you going to draw with? Well, uh, you're going to draw with whatever you have. And to, to create a, a, an effect similar to a black light effect, if you don't have black light chalk or a black light, what you do is you use a dark colored paper or dark toned paper and you can either use black paper or a very dark blue so if you have construction paper laying around uh, that'll work uh, if you have dark toned pastel paper uh, that'll work too so uh, so that's uh, what I'm gonna suggest that you use uh, if you don't have that again uh, do the best with what you have uh, don't worry about what you can't do figure out what you can do so that's kind of the introduction and again this is just a real simple version of a black light picture that I do uh, I draw a uh, a visible picture people watch me draw a, a picture of of uh, Calvary and uh, then up in the sky when I turn on the black light there is a picture of uh, well usually Jesus standing in the sky I'm not going to draw that today uh, but then I also have uh, the empty tomb with uh, the sunrise uh, just kind of uh, beginning to lighten it up so so that's what I'm going to draw today and I'm going to show you how to do that and uh, so uh, get out if you have some pastels get those out if you if you have crayons get that out and uh, let's uh, let's draw uh, I am going to start out here with a. Actually, I'm, I forgot to get something out, so I'm. That's why I'm kind of pausing here. Uh, when I draw on an iPad, and that's what I'm drawing on this time, I have a special glove that I wear that uh, keeps my hand from uh, messing up and smearing the uh, the uh, drawing, and it also prevents my hand from accidentally uh, changing settings or things like that. So I've got my glove on. Um, and uh, and that's rac actually pretty similar to drawing with chalk because you've always got to be careful about uh, smearing. Okay, so I'm going to change colors for starters. And um, I'm going to go with kind of a dark purple because what I want to do is, and let me see the size of my pen here. Let's make that a little bit smaller. Okay. And uh, let's take those out. Okay, so I'm going to sketch in for starters just the background and uh, maybe even I'm going to give us a kind of some hills 
And what I'm going to do is just give us an outline uh, of what I would have drawn if you'd watched me draw the visible picture of perhaps Calvary's Hill here. Okay. And then over on the right side of the paper is where I will put the empty tomb. And again, I draw a kind of a big hill like this. And about like that. Okay, now I'm drawing it in purple uh, because what I'm going to do is begin to uh, make this more of... Oops, that's a little too big. Get a little smaller there. What I want to do is draw in silhouette. Now, if I'm drawing with black light chalk, this is what it's actually going to look like as I as I draw. So, what I'm going to do here is just get a very light coating here of fake chalk, I guess you would call it. And then I'm going to smudge a bit. And I'm going to shrink that a little bit down and turn down the opacity here, which in this case it means it's not going to smear quite as much. Okay. And because I, what I what I want to do is I want to soften. If the, if you're working with chalk, then I want to soften that so that it's filtering up and just kind of disappearing into the into the dark, still, you know, night sky up here. Now, if I was going to take a lot of time to do this, one thing I would do is I would, you know, blow all of this up and I would come in and I would really give a lot more attention to detail, uh, particularly in the, the smudging part. I'm not going to do that just for the sake of time. Uh, I will do it over here because this is where most of my real detail is going to come in. So I do want this a little bit better here. But if you're working on paper with pastels, then make sure your edges are nice and sharp. As sharp as you can get them anyway. Oops. Okay, let's shrink that back down. Okay, and then I'm going to just come down here and I'm going to soften this. And there we go, and let's kind of soften that mountain, distant mountain range there a little bit. Okay, so that's that's kind of my background, uh, just giving the the basic shapes. Now, again, if I was uh, doing this for a a chalk drawing, one of the next colors I would use would be a, uh, a kind of a yellow. And I would come in and I would, ooh, that's a little bit too intense there, I don't want quite that much. Oh, we're going to turn that down a little bit. And I would kind of come in and because what I normally do is, with this drawing, I will have the uh, the sunrise coming up so that it highlights the, the three crosses on the hill. So I would lay in some yellow chalk, again, invisible fluorescent yellow if I'm doing a black light picture. If you're doing it, then you can just do a regular yellow chalk. And I would kind of blend that out like that. Okay, the next color I would use would be orange. Uh, in in uh, black light work, uh, you use a lot a lot of orange chalk 
And I am going to blow this part up just a little bit because I'm going to work small. Let me shrink this down. You use orange for a lot of things, including drawing people's faces and uh, and hands and bodies, things like that. But here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I want to shrink that even a little further. Let's brighten it up just a touch. I'm going to come in and I'm just going to hit the edges. of where the light is beginning to to fall on this hill. This is the hill where, or you know, again, I, I'm not trying to make a historical reproduction here, so I have a big hill where I put my empty tomb. That's probably not really what it looked like, but uh, for the purposes of my painting and illustration, which is kind of a, a way of storytelling, that's what I do. So I'm, I'm making kind of a jagged hill here. And it's going to lay in a little bit of color. So you might use an orange with this. Just something to differentiate it a little bit from the yellow. Now I'm going to add some yellow in here, but not just yet. Uh, Okay, for start, or for the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to draw uh, the uh, entrance to the tomb, and I'm going to draw the stone, or at least part of the stone. I'm going to shrink down a little bit smaller so I can get my uh, get, get a feel for how I want to draw this in. And what I'm going to do is just draw. A line there, and I'm going to come down with a line here, just like that. Now, to give the feel of the stone being rolled away, I could put the stone over on the side, but what I want to do is I want to give the feel of the stone just being partially rolled away. Well, I think it probably was rolled all the way away, but I like how it looks when the stone is just partially covering. So I'm just doing sort of a, a semicircle. Nice thing with this is these stones were rough hewn. They, you know, they weren't perfect. So, uh, so don't feel like you have to make it a perfect circle. You can, but you don't have to. Okay, and then I'm gonna actually carry that right off to the edge of. Not really the paper, because I'm not working on paper. There we go. Okay, so I've got my shape. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw kind of the threshold. And then I'm going to just suggest kind of a little pathway here. Down the hill. Okay, and... I'm going to kind of thicken one end of this stone to make it look a little bit more substantial. And you can even make it a little bigger. And I'm going to turn down this a little bit and just kind of fill it in there so it you have a more of a solid feel to it. Okay, let's shrink that back down. Okay, so I've got my empty tomb there. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this yellow and I'm going to come over here with it. Let's shrink this back down again and turn back up the opacity. And if I shrink this down even further and make this brighter, and when I say I'm turning up or down the opacity, it's making the color brighter or darker. Okay, so I'm just going to add a few more details here.
Again, nothing, nothing particularly dramatic. Just enough to show that sunlight hitting. And then I might kind of suggest I suggest that coming down the hill here a little bit. And you can always smudge that out a touch so it's a little bit smoother. I might even soften that a little bit. And then let's go ahead and complete the picture by putting our three crosses here. Okay, and the way I'm going to do that now, um, I'm going to do it by erasing. Uh, you might do it by uh, using a, a black, uh, you know, a piece of, of black charcoal. Uh, but I'm actually just using an eraser here. Eraser wouldn't work real well if you're working with real pastels. Uh, let me shrink that down just a touch. To, yeah, it looks pretty good. Then I'm going to come across. And one little trick just to make things more interesting. So when I do my other crosses, I'm going to do them smaller and I'm going to change the angle of the crossbar. Okay. And then if I wanted to, and you could do this too, if you're particularly if you're working on black paper, if I want to kind of sharpen the hill and making it make it look a little bit more you know a little bit rougher maybe a little rockier then I'm actually just again I'm using my eraser which wouldn't work for you unless you're working digitally if you are then that will work for you but that way I can Just kind of make that a little bit more noticeable. Okay, so there you have a real simple uh, drawing, and I could do a lot more with this, but uh, there's a real simple drawing of uh, Calvary. Uh, you know, I can come in here if I want to tweak a bit. I probably would. I'm, I'm going to try to finish this up so it's not too long. So, uh, you know, I could come in and, uh, you know, hit hit the edges of the mountains here just a bit so they're a little bit sharper and then you know you gotta smear it again a bit so so it's a little bit less stark and you can have lots of fun and you know the thing with me is when I get into something like this and I will start playing and then I'll start tweaking and you know I could be here for about another two or three hours playing with this but you don't want to watch me for two or three hours so okay so there it is uh, there is my version of the empty tomb you see again further down on this page you'll see Pat Nepley's version of the empty tomb uh, and this is uh, my blacklight version of it so uh, go ahead and uh, get some pastels get some uh, dark paper and uh, why don't you try this see what you can come up with and uh, if you you know if you do uh, get something then uh, go ahead and uh, you know, send it to us at info at see the light shine dot com or if you're on Instagram uh, you can uh, tag us at homeschoolart.seethelight, and uh, we would love to put your work up on our Instagram feed. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you'll give it a try. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing your work, and I'll come back with something new uh, next week. And y'all, hang in there. Uh, God is going to get us through this time. It's a rough time, but God is still on the throne, and we can still trust him. So hang in there. And uh, I'll uh, see you next time. And now I gotta figure out how to turn this thing off. Ha! Okay, I got a glove on my hand, so, hmm, let's see. There it is.